The Broncos have been riddled with wide receiver injuries in training camp, but this rookie could help save this season for Russell Wilson in Denver. Here's how. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor, and this, this right here, this is Proctor's point of view. As always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments like this one right here. My man, hey, you just might be right. Drew Locke has always had the talent and this experience sitting behind Geno Smith might be the best thing that happened to him. He, Drew Locke that is, could end up being the Seahawks future at the quarterback position. But stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question. To today's topic though, has any NFL team this preseason been more snake bin with injuries at the wide receiver position than the Denver Broncos? During the first week of training camp, Broncos wide receiver Tim Patrick suffered a season-ending torn Achilles. Shortly after that, fellow wide receiver KJ Hamler was sadly diagnosed with a heart ailment that caused him to step away from the game and later be released by the team. Then just last week, Broncos star wide receiver Jerry Judy was carted off the field during a joint practice with a hamstring injury. Judy is expected to miss several weeks as a result, and his week one status is currently up in the air. The recent run of bad injury luck for the Broncos wide receivers, it's not new either. Their projected top four of Cortland Sutton, Judy, Patrick, and Hamler have played just two games together over the last three seasons. That ain't great, especially for a quarterback in Russell Wilson who's coming off the worst season of his entire NFL career. But luckily for him and the Broncos, Denver used his second round pick during April's NFL draft on Marvin Mims Jr., an explosive wide receiver out of Oklahoma who is now poised to be the team's number two wide receiver along Sutton to begin this season. Mims has already impressed Broncos offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi. Here's what he had to say about Mims last week. You know, he's been hampered a little bit with the hamstring, so haven't uh, got to look at him as much as you hope, but he made a big play today. You know, he's got speed, plays hard, smart. Um, you know, was, was, was a playmaker in college. And, uh, you know, again, it's just been a few days where you know, I don't think he's still quite up to full speed, but, um, you know, it was encouraging to see that play he had today. And those are the kind of things we saw in college, you know, the ability to stretch the field. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're hoping to see more of it as this camp goes on. Earning the praise of Lombardi is one thing, but getting a vote of confidence from Sean Payton is another thing entirely. Payton used his first draft pick as the Broncos head coach to select Mims with the 63rd overall pick in the second round, and that bit of information should not be taken lightly. Payton has a history of drafting and developing elite NFL wide receivers, and Mims, he might just be next. He caught nine touchdowns as a freshman at Oklahoma, which was a school freshman record. And then he led the Sooners with over 700 receiving yards as a sophomore. But what Mims does best is make plays deep down the field. He did just that on Saturday night, catching a contested bomb 50 plus yards down the field during a preseason win over the LA Rams. For a wide receiver playing with Russell Wilson, who still throws one of the prettiest deep balls in the NFL, even after an ugly season last year, being able to track the football deep down the field is a good trait to have. Just ask Tyler Lockett. I'm not saying Marvin Mims is the next Tyler Lockett. I'm just telling you not to sleep on the Broncos rookie wide receiver this season. But back to the trivia question, the one that I tease at the top, who holds the Broncos rookie record for most receiving yards in the season? It's Eddie Royal, if you remember that name, with 980 yards back in 2008. Jerry Judy actually was close in 2020, but he finished with 856. Let me know in the comments if you think Marvin Mims could take advantage of some early playing time this season. And shout out again to our guy right here for this comment. If you don't know what he's talking about, go check out a recent Proctor's point of view on another rookie wide receiver who's currently actually dealing with an injury himself. But that's gonna do it for this episode of PPOV. I'll see you right back here tomorrow when I discuss a wide receiver who could lead the NFL in receiving yards this season.